what do you see in our first matchup here tonight? Yeah, let's see how these big guys match up. Well, Mister is 10 years younger at age 29 and a willingness to exchange. All right, here we go. So it's Mariscal in the black coming out, just throwing haymakers. And all Nistor can do is cover up. Mariscal is for the fight. He's got that Mexican pride. Uh, he's somebody who's been in tough before. He's been stopped, but he's always, he's always game age because they can fall back. <laughs> that blood, but now Nestor is, is getting into his group. Well, Mariscal, in his 17 years fight, he has gone at the beginning of the round. Yeah, probably in the salvo. Oh, there that right is. uppercut split his guard. I bet you that did produce the blood. What's your standouts that he faced during his career? Sometimes he lost, sometimes he won. That have gone on in a very professional uh, boxing career. So they had in the ring just a few months ago. And these are fighters that he defeated. I think Wally he knocked out as a matter of fact, just like he knocked out AJ. Big uppercut left hand by his score there. And that's what he has gone to the match like said, let's get him to the United States and debut and come in and start knocking people out. Well, his debut so far, Beto, is very, very impressive. He is very bull-like, broken up by the referee. I feel like Mar Mariscal's game plan has been come out of the house by the <laughs> in the books. Let's look at some highlights from that second round. Oh, payback for that uppercut in round one delivered by Nistor. That was a beautiful left uppercut landed by the Romanian. And here's an overhand left partially blocked by the Mexican fighter. Back round, we were at the <laughs> World Phase by Club OC. They've been doing events here for nine years previous to that. 25 years at the Irvine yeah, I used to go to, to promoter Roy Engelbrecht shows at the Irvine for many years. So a lot of uh, future world champions, but... Deontay Wilder, as we mentioned off the top of his Yeah, that was here. There was that knockdown. <laughs> Mariscal is down, and I do not think that he is going to get up. Yeah, it was a short shot. It looked like a short left hand. Yeah. Right, right to the side of the head. The equilibrium might be affected. Well, he's up, but yeah, that's it. That's a good okay. stoppage. The fighter knew it was over. Doing all the stuff that um, uh, an experienced fighter will do. He's back down. Here's a closer angle. Oh, that was a beautiful. He took a step back and then came over the top. With his first professional victory from Bucharest, Romania, Mihai Nisar. Middleweights in action, they are the same height, they have the same reach. Ballard is five years younger at age 26. And they understand the platform that they are on here on syndicated television, on the zone, on ringtv.com. They are just outside of the top 10 uh, independent rankings or the, the top, uh, for instance, tonight, the vacant NABF hit your first shot at the world title. That is a spot that everybody wants to be in. About uh, is Yamaguchi because his father's sensei earlier this year, so he was in the rankings and he wants to get back in the rankings. He does look faster, he looks a little bit lighter on his feet. He used to look at Ballard, but he needs to move around Ballard because Ballard is a, is a straightforward technician. Most of the opponents you're going to have are going to be orthodox fighters, and right handed just like you, so there's certain combinations that. have been having fights here for the last nine years, and they have at least six or seven fights a year. Gucci, a good combination, about 1,256 VIP sections, uh, pace between Falcao and Ballard. Many of these fighters are good combinations, strong for Falcao and then a rebound from Ballard. I think the Brazilian has a slight edge in both of the opening and first rounds just because he's the one taking the fight to his opponent. He's, he's seizing certain. The opening round could have gone either way. How close we do the walk? Pretty close, right? Oh, the walk. I should note that Falcao is, generally speaking, he is a, a, a fast starter. Real strong for the first half of the ten round fight. Absolutely better. As Falcao is doing more showboating than letting his hands go, he's letting him go. Trying to steal the round, which is my fight, guys. 
does a little bit of a, a shuffle there. He only has three rounds of boxing under his belt this year. But that could have something to do with it. There, there could be, if you look at the face of Ballard, you see a, 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 a small mouse under his left eye. You see some abrasions of work. He's got to be careful about that. He's got to be careful about taking his foot off the gas pedal. Uh, good combination there by Ballard inside our Right? Yes. We're in the eighth. Conditioning better. He's throwing best punches that he did over the first half of the fight. From that eighth round. Green, what can you breathe? It's an interesting round. Ballard fell short of the jab, but. He's kind of stayed at arm's length and hasn't thrown much of anything. I mean, the biggest star in boxing is the middleweight champion, Canelo Alvarez. All right, so there you have it. And I have yet to see a majority draw where anybody was happy about it. No, I think both yeah. fighters are starting, trying to figure out exactly what just happened. Exactly. All right, let's get to know this matchup a little bit better. Here is the tale of the day. Ulysse is the younger man at 31 by five years, but he's also ranked uh, in the top 10 of the IBF and the WBC. And if he wants to keep his options uh, available, Liv is uh, managed, to, managed by Eggis Clemus and promoted by main events. So Golden Boy, even with their top the ring style of fight. He's definitely so There was a nice right hand landed by Ulysse. Blocking for South Park. First part of that, but he hasn't been able to counter efficient. It's just, just crazy. We're also with that right up again. Now let's go. Ooh, nice straight right, right down the pike. By from round three. I thought it was a really good round for Barroso, just with his activity. He didn't land clean punches. Barroso. Junior or Back to Venezuela. Ooh, this corner was telling him, go to the body. Three and a half rounds. Yeah, that's to be expected. Barroso is an offense minded fight. So. Right here live on the zone. And he's got a good counter there by Ulysse Jr. And then he got Barroso with the game. Junior welterweight isn't one of the best. It's right. Significant scars or scarring. Those are people that I don't want to mess with. Round five, and Julius Jr. just covering up. I'm sure that we can uh, get him out of retirement. Yeah, at least that's that. They make his opponents overextend themselves when they would miss it. You would always come for it. One way to put it is to put it on the line. And then it's going to be a good one. See, there's a right to the hip, and then a right to the cheekbone. That was a beautiful take. But that was it. He missed the follow-up left hook. 
Beautiful shot right down the, the was getting knocked out by a sim run. South Africa uh, or Vladimir Klitschko being knocked out by Landon Bruce. Uh, all his, his attention has been on the new world champion, Andy Ruiz. The hook that Beto told us he's going to try to incorporate him, of course, the last few rounds. And he does play for Ruiz with the left hand. Get, get, get run over, get what he's doing. Jab landed by Yuri. Big right hand snaps the head back of Barroso. Barroso. So even when he snapped his head back, the body bore from the A side. It should be that way. He's giving up because Barroso elects to back up. Here was that three punch combo by Barroso. Yes, that's a one two one. Jab, straight left, jab. And you would hope that Ulysses Jr. brings everything he has. Barroso isn't landing a lot, but he's landing enough. And he is not leaving any room for Ulysses Jr. to try to counter. This is very good for this fight. Good straight right hand there from Jr. 12 rounds, zero follow-up. of the past, he would land a big shot like that, and he would hurt them, or freeze them, or he will take that big shot, and maybe take a step back. Often does offense. I would say that Barroso has been almost uh, stopped, red gloves on the side, and he has been getting loose a little bit, but... And ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, and new WBA Gold Super Lightweight Champion, the Party Pride of Venezuela. Please welcome the one, the only, Ismael.